to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Didn't follow my dreams Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I am Jenya. I hope you're doing great. Today I have another reset video. We'll be doing a bunch of deep cleaning and organizing in the kitchen, especially in my fridge. I will also be seeing what needs to go from my fridge, what needs to be used right away. And I'll try to figure out if I can cook something yummy for dinner with those products, using them instead of wasting them. We'll also clean on top of the fridge and we'll do a bunch of laundry. So let's start today's video with the fridge. I'll show you what it looks like first. So of course I wipe the obvious messes every other day in this fridge, however I haven't deep cleaned this fridge in a while. Also last time I was trying to do that I couldn't get the very bottom shelf out but we'll take care of that today. My two year old is taking a nap at the moment so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to clean up all of the fridge all in one go. So whenever I have a big project on my hands I prefer to break it up into sections. So we'll start with the door and once I'm done with that door I'm going to switch to the inside of the fridge. Start with the top shelf and work my way down. At some point my son will wake up and depending on which mood he is going to be in, I'm going to either continue cleaning the fridge or put it off for another day. But I do finish the cleaning of the fridge in this video for sure. I'm just gonna use my all-purpose DIY cleaner which is mostly vinegar, alcohol and water and just a tiny tiny bit of dishwashing soap in that cleaner. If you're new and don't know me, I am a stay-at-home mom of two toddlers ages two and three. I am currently pregnant with twins I am in my second trimester and at the moment I am full of energy and so I clean or do whatever needs to be done whenever I feel like it and whenever I have the energy. However, I take a lot of rest as well. I only film for a couple of hours a day on a good day and so most of my videos always consist of different days put together. I didn't want to give the impression to anybody that it is somehow normal for me to just get up and just do big projects from dawn to dusk every day. I don't even have the energy to clean all day. I prefer prefer to do my calm and personal things in the mornings and then normally when my son goes to sleep I work on my projects, big, small, whatever they may be, whatever I feel like doing. And I'm only saying that for two reasons. One is that if you happen to be pregnant, I really just didn't want to give out the impression that this is normal to just run around all day if you feel like sitting down and put your feet up. And the second reason is because I do get comments from all of my sweet subscribers worrying that I do either too much or not being careful. But the truth this I do listen to my body and never ever would I risk the health of my babies just to make a YouTube video. So don't you worry, I really do appreciate those comments though. And one more thing, me standing on the chair was not a good idea, I definitely do agree with all of you that said so. You will not see me doing that again. I do have a step stool though and a mini step ladder. I don't know why I used a chair in the first place, I guess I didn't take it seriously or didn't even think of it at all. Whenever I needed to reach something up high, I would just stand up on the chair and go for it. I never really thought of having a pregnancy brain as a real thing, but maybe it is. You just do things that are either ridiculous or don't make any sense, but either way, you won't see me climbing the chair again. But anyways, I do appreciate you all. I just wanted to say that as a YouTuber, of course you get not so nice comments every once in a while, but most of my comments are either very sweet and maybe funny or informative and useful. Sometimes I have to take notes just to get some information down for future use. Whatever type of comment it is, I do love reading them. If you ever feel like leaving me a comment, you can just let me know what you're doing right this second while watching the video and what your plans are. Don't hesitate to do so. Anyways, as I put all of the stuff out of the fridge, my daughter just found the Kinder Surprise Egg. Normally she has to earn it. We have our own system, but this time mommy wasn't paying attention, so she just got it for free. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be talking to you throughout the video. We're like fireworks, thought nothing could break us, but oh how we got burned. Look at us now, we scream, we fight, and no one knows the reason. I'm sure there is more stuff I'll be putting into the door, but for now my main focus was to put everything that I use on a daily basis at my eye level and then all of the soy sauces that I use occasionally a little bit more down and then if I had anything heavy I would put that on the very bottom. Now I'm gonna switch to the top shelves of the fridge.
I'm gonna have to use the rest of the rotisserie chicken today. We ate our favorite bits, which is the thighs. I thought with the rest I could make my husband some fajitas, since I normally try to grow some peppers in the winter with my plant lights, and so I had some little peppers ripening up on my pepper plant. I decided to take that pepper plant from the basement to my new greenhouse, and my kids thought it was fun to just rip the peppers off and bring them to me, thinking that they are doing me a favor, really, while I am trying to explain to them that the peppers are not ready to come off the plant, so I've had some peppers ripening up on my countertop so I'm going to use just a couple for those fajitas I don't like wasting food especially if it's expensive and something that I grew when it comes to peppers they are really expensive at least for me when I buy them at Costco if I don't use them all at once before they go bad I do freeze them so we're gonna use a couple of baby peppers that I grew with some frozen peppers that I froze with some leftover rotisserie chicken to make my husband some fajitas that he loves When I was at Ross store, I got a few containers for the fridge. This one was $3.99 as you can see. I think I got a couple different sizes and I think I'm already using one in the fridge at the moment. So I thought if I have any containers laying around, I'm just going to try and utilize them today. I'm just putting half and halves behind because I rarely ever use them, but my coffee creamer and oat milk I'm putting in the front because I use them every day. And same strategy on the other side. Those green beans have not been laying in the fridge for forever. Just the day before, I think, I got them ready for freezing. So that's all I'm doing, just putting them into the bag and into the freezer. I was trying to find a place for this whipped cream. I got it for something, but I never use it. I know that it's so good that it's addictive, and I try not to even give it to my kids, but somehow I ended up letting my son try it for the first time in his life, and I think he liked it so much that I was wondering if I made a mistake by doing it. Is it yummy? Yeah. Is it really, really yummy? No. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Was that a mistake? I'm sure I mentioned before that I am pretty obsessed with mason jars for storing stuff. 
I had a recent can of black olives in the fridge, so I decided to just put it into a mason jar. I also had some jalapeno peppers, which were taking much more space being in that square container. So I decided to stick a couple into that mason jar, see if we use them. I opened this big can of jalapeno peppers and now not sure where to use them. My husband is the one that eats those spicy things. So I'm just gonna keep like three of them, I think. I think that's more than enough. I don't know why I didn't really put any expiration dates on them. I think I was just a little bit confused with those jalapenos. And the olives we'll use pretty soon. I'm just gonna stick any kind of cheese we have in here. These boiled eggs were just taking a little bit too much space in that container, there was nothing wrong with keeping them like that, but I decided to try out these little plastic bags that I got from Costco. It's a money saver in the long run, but in the fridge we just got two bottom shelves to take care of. This fridge was here when we moved in about half a year ago, so, so far I had no luck getting that bottom drawer out of there, but this time I was a bit more aggressive and look at that disgust under there. When it comes to the other two crisp drawers, so far I've been just lifting them up and wiping under them and I'll show you in a second what I mean. But fridges are no fun to pull apart and put back together, unless of course you've had your fridge for a while and know it in and out. And I'm sure those blue pieces of tape, so whatever it is, need to go, but it just never bothered me. So I'm just lifting those crisp drawers up and wiping under them and then when it comes to the bottom <laughs> this is the first time as i said that i was able to take that bottom drawer out some of you might be thinking why don't you just ask your husband and you know what to be completely honest with you by the time he always comes back from work there are many many other things to handle and of course there are weekends and sometimes i come at him with a whole list of things to do and help me with and some things just never seem to get our attention I can't tell you how happy I was to have the whole fridge clean, not just almost a whole fridge except for one shelf. <laughs> We're not touching the freezer today, that's a project for another day. Sorry for the poor angles, I have too many helpers on the way, plus my head. I was laughing when I was watching it back, but I didn't want to cut it out.
I wanted to give you another look of the fridge after I'm done with cooking the fajitas or whatever else because I still have a little bit of stuff on the counter which I'm going to cook with and after I'm done I'm going to put it back into the fridge and give you the final after shot. Anyways, I'm going to cut some onions and my peppers. The kitchen is still a mess, but dinner needs to be done. So I thought I would just make some fajitas and then I thought I would make some Spanish rice. I was putting some food away to my food storage in the basement and I came across a box with tomato sauce. And on that box there was Spanish rice recipe staring at me and I thought, well, that's a good idea since I'm making fajitas. It was so easy to make and the kids loved the Spanish rice as well. So that will definitely go on my menu for quick recipes but anyways for fajitas I'm just frying up the onions and the peppers and then I'm gonna throw in the chicken rotisserie chicken that I deboned and then I'm going to add some taco seasoning and that is it I'm going to mix it up, cook it all together for just a few minutes and then turn the stove off. As for the Spanish rice, it was so easy, I just warmed up some oil and then threw in my long grain basmati rice, 2 cups, the recipe said to brown the rice, and then I'm making just my quick version of the chicken broth, the recipe suggests 4 cups of that or 4 cups of water. As my rice browned, I poured in 2 cups of water. And then I'm going to open up my tomato sauce and pour that in. As my chicken broth is done microwaving, I am going to pour those two cups in as well. I think I microwaved it for about two or maybe three minutes. And then I'm going to add everything else such as salt, some garlic. Then it also called for a dash of cumin and a dash of garlic pepper, but I don't have it. I've never used that. So that was it on the spices and seasonings. I'm just going to stir it a little bit, cover it up and let it simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. All the vegetables that were in the fridge, like this avocado, really needed to be used. It was really soft already. Some tomatoes and things like that, I just decided to use them all tonight. And I'm putting some avocado, tomatoes and cucumbers for my kids' salad, which I always make for them. They just like a little bit of lemon, a little bit of salt, olive oil, and that is it. And if I'm missing one of the ingredients ever, I still make this salad. They still eat it and they find it delicious. As I took the lid off, this is what the rice was looking like. I'm just going to mix it and try a little bit. And to me, it was ready and also so tasted delicious so this rice was done the kids had rice salad and some chicken nuggets I warmed up for them the husband is gonna have the rice with the fajitas when he gets home he's just gonna put everything together with his tortilla sour cream and all that stuff and this salad is just for me I love salads I use the same dressing as for the kids and I had a bit of everything as well this is what the fridge is looking like after I put everything back in. That evening I really wanted to cut up that salad lettuce as well as the romaine lettuce and just pre-make my salads but I really had zero energy. So I'll come back to that the next day. I won't let the lettuce go bad. And then this bottom crisp drawer I couldn't even open up. Something's up with it. Something's wrong with it. I don't know what. But anyways we are done with the fridge. It's time to do some laundry. Let me pick it up from all over the house first. As you can tell, this is the next day I'm saying hello to you. All of this laundry on the bed is now ready to be folded. The way I now prefer doing it is separated by everybody in the house. So that would be me, my husband, my daughter Anya, my son Maxim. And then I will put all of the towels or sheets in a miscellaneous category and all the socks also all together in a separate category.
This is my cat Katya and we are invading her space right now. <laughs> this is her room technically. She just catches up on her sleep here all day long after I guess long hard days of work or something. But she also loves helping wherever I am doing something, cleaning, cooking. She likes watching. So she is a very family kind of cat. She likes being with us and helping us with chores if you can say that. And of course like any other cat she loves her space and that's where she spends a lot of her time. Feel free to let me know in the comments about your animals if you have any. Let me know what their names are, what kind they are. I feel like I asked that question a long time ago, but I never get tired of hearing about animals. Here is the star of the show again. She always does that, I don't know why, just laying there on her back being cute. This is my son's clothes, we are in his room, so I'm just gonna fold it here on the floor in his room and put it into his dresser. And now we are in my daughter's room. I have all of her clothes in that basket. It just needs to be folded and put into the dresser. A lot of times my babies get on my way when I'm doing the laundry. There is no point in folding something when they're playing around jumping on the bed. It's easier sometimes to put it into the basket and then fold it when I'm in their rooms or whenever they're not 
helping. I got a set of these reddish towels from Costco just for me. There's a hand towel, face towel, and just a towel. But I love these. When my husband and I got married, I moved into his house and I didn't have many things with me. So I ended up just using his towels all of my life. He wasn't really a big deal. But when I saw these at Costco, I'm like, why do I use gray men towels all the time when I can get myself something cute? Anyways, not a big deal, but I just love the style of these towels and I think I'm gonna get one in green they also have one in green at Costco now here if you look down on the wall there is a marker art that happened a long time ago I just never got around to cleaning it that happened once but it happened all over the house all at once and it happened on the worst day possible I was painting our guest room white and they colored on that wall as I painted it it's in my video it's I think it's called a room makeover video and I got it off of that wall just using alcohol and a magic eraser but I think I was out of magic erasers on this day I was using just plain alcohol and a you know sponge and that didn't work so I am coming back here days later to clean the leftovers as you can see and I'm inserting that clip right now coming back on a different day trying to see if this and this or this will work on this hopefully I think this will work to get the rest of it out my pink stuff was drying up I was trying to make a paste out of it just added some water and I tried to mix it up I didn't cut any of the scrubbing out so that you can see how much I had to scrub. I just spit it up. But as you can see, the pink stuff didn't get it out. But I do have a light blue clean spot on my wall now. But anyways, I'm switching to the power paste now. And also, I'm pretty sure I already tried a magic eraser on this wall and it's just nothing really helped. I just know this wall was depressing me because nothing was really getting this marker out. But this power paste for the first time did actually finally impress me. In my last video, I was saying things about power paste that I didn't really care much for it because it never quite cleaned anything for me that other cleaners didn't clean. So I didn't really understand what all the fuss was about, but this time I had a different experience and power paste was the only thing that got the marker off my wall. I was so happy. It really depends on the type of stain that you have and you gotta use the right product for that particular stain. Sometimes it could get a little bit confusing. I'm glad it's finally off the wall, but we still need to go to the kitchen. I never decluttered the top of the fridge and this is the last thing we're going to be doing today Just regular top of the fridge stuff completely unrelatable to stuff that's supposed to be in the kitchen. Balloons, laundry stain remover. This yellow thing is a gun for insects. My husband likes using it on flies. I guess whatever makes him happy, we keep it on the fridge. That's the only thing and my plant that is supposed to be on the fridge. Everything else needs to go places.
There's another random pepper just laying on my countertop. Kids just keep bringing them and putting them wherever. <laughs> I know I need to have a conversation with them, but I also find it funny because I did find a, <laughs> a yellow pepper in my nightstand drawer the other night. <laughs> so lately it just has been some kind of yellow pepper nightmare for me. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. I couldn't reach to put those books into the cabinet. I decided to ask my husband to help me with this task. But some of you will be happy to hear that I didn't use a chair to stand up on it to reach anything up on that fridge. I used a step stool and I'm staying safe. So I'm just gonna wipe the top of the fridge and I love when the top of the fridge is clean and clear of just random stuff like balloons. Hey guys, that would be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next week and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye now.